I said, Dad, you didn't worry about it before. I mean, when you were making uh, big money, I mean, you had a knot in your pocket all the time. You were making money hand over fist. You didn't seem to mind the wicked lifestyle. That Now all of a sudden you got religion. All of a sudden you got Jesus. All of a sudden uh, uh, something happened. It's changed now. And now you want me to leave? Yeah. Nah, I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. And listen, we've heard that before. We've heard that before. You know how you prove them wrong? You live Christianity out in front of them as well as give Christianity to them. Not only give, but live it. We see when the fires are stoked. Notice something else here, if you will. Not only the uh, atmosphere, notice the assortment, if you will. The assortment. Now, in studying for this message, uh, uh, different snakes, I found, have produced different types of venom. There are basically three, but most folks would say four categories uh, or types of venom in the world. Each of them act differently on different parts uh, or areas of the body and can in minutes take a healthy body and begin to destroy it. They are, if you will, hemotoxins, uh, that's a, a blood poisoning venom, uh, neurotoxin, that's a nerve destroying venom, a mitotoxin, that's a muscle destroying venom, or cytotoxin, that's a cell destroying venom. In like manner, friends, uh, uh, there are uh, different types of snakes that you and I uh, must be mindful of uh, and that you and I, like Paul in verse number 5, must shake off us, uh, must shake out of our lives, uh, uh, lest we become very sick and spiritually, if you will, uh, die. Notice with me, if you will, just a few of them. Uh, and notice what he does uh, when that snake uh, before, that snake strikes him and attaches himself. Look what he does in verse number 5. He shook him off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. There are some snakes today that you and I got to shake off. Yeah. Right. There are some snakes in our life that we've got to shake. And by shaking these snakes, uh, I believe, friend, uh, we'll see something happen. Uh, notice with me, if you will, uh, uh, the hemotoxin uh, or the boy, uh, the, uh, the blood poisoning uh, uh, type of snake. Uh, hey, friends, uh, you'll remember uh, uh, the, in uh, biology uh, that we find uh, that the heart pumps uh, a blood throughout our entire body. Now, friend, don't make me go too far into depth uh, because I'm a product of Detroit Public Schools, uh, so anything that I might say, uh, uh, it may be wrong. Break it. I mean, I got two and two equals five. I got, I, I believe I learned just a handful of things. I learned how to count money in Detroit Public Schools. You never count money wrong in Detroit Public Schools. We never had any, but I never counted it wrong when I had any. But man, I, I mean to figure two and two is five and, and all kinds of other things. What I did learn is this though. The heart pumps the blood throughout uh, the entire body. And, and friend, listen, uh, as Brother LaFave said, and I won't spend much time on it, uh, uh, hemotoxin, if you will, uh, a snake, if you will, has injected us uh, from the very beginning, uh, and that is we've got a heart problem uh, from the moment of birth. Uh, we were conceived in iniquity. Uh, we've got a problem with our heart. Our heart is desperately wicked. Uh, who can know what the Bible says? Uh, and what you need and what I need uh, is a blood transfusion. Amen. We ought to take this old man and take the blood of Christ uh, and apply that blood to my heart uh, and to your heart uh, and we won't have a problem anymore uh, with the hemotoxic uh, uh, venom of that snake. Uh, that is, there was a time and a place uh, where you were lost in your sin uh, and I was lost in my sin uh, and listen, we served Satan, uh, we served society, we served ourselves uh, and we enjoyed doing it. Uh, but there was a time when the Holy Ghost of God pricked your heart uh, and inside you knew uh, uh, that someone right uh, you had a heart problem and what you needed was a blood transfusion. Amen. You needed some pure blood. Yeah, you needed someone uh, to apply the blood in whom there was no spot, uh, there was no blemish, uh, the perfect blood uh, of Christ. It was applied Amen. to your heart uh, and to my heart uh, and we'll shake that snake if you will uh, uh, there. Uh, but notice with me a few others. Uh, that was just uh, uh, in there, uh, uh, just uh, for some of you that might need a little help. Uh, but notice, if you will, uh, the snake of crises. Hmm. I like to this to uh, cytotoxin. What cytotoxin is this? It destroys the cells. Hmm. Now, you know what the cell is? Cell is the building block of life. That's right. Wow. That's what a cell is. Now, if we can apply this spiritually, a cell would be the building block of our spiritual life. 
But there's a snake, friend, the snake of crises. The uh, second the serpent bit Paul here uh, on the hand, uh, the snake, uh, when he had bitten him, he injected his venom, uh, and that venom was coursing through his vein, and in seconds should have killed him. Uh, we see it here. But notice what Paul does. He doesn't freak out. Right. He doesn't flip out. I mean, he ain't running to and fro. Uh, he ain't calling 911. Uh, he ain't crying. He ain't cussing. He ain't fussing. Uh, what is he doing here? Uh, he simply goes on confidently doing what he knew was right to do. Hey, friends, uh, there's a crisis. Uh, the snake had bit him. He's about to die. It wasn't like he could just go down to the hospital and get some anti-venom. Uh, he was in the grave already. Mine's well have been. Uh, but what does he do? He doesn't fuss. He doesn't fight. Uh, he doesn't cry. He doesn't complain. Right. Right. He doesn't whine. He doesn't whimper. He doesn't say, oh, pastor, you don't know. I just got bit by the snake, and I'm in a crisis. Hey, friend, he just does right. He shook it off and continued to gather sticks. That's right. There's a crisis coming in your life. You're either in a trial, you just got out of a trial, or you're about to go into a trial. That's where every one of us are at. That's where we're at. You're in a storm, just got out of a storm, we're about to go into a storm. That's where we're at. And you know what Paul did when he hit his storm? He didn't freak. He didn't flip. He just did right. You know what our problem there many times? We're one problem away from packing it in and quitting on God. That's our problem. I mean, the first time we get a little resistant, the first time somebody gets sideways with it, you know, we're going to quit. Brother God, so you don't know what I gave up to serve Christ. I mean, I had a six-figure deal uh, uh, down in Branson or, or in Nashville or in Hollywood. Or I had this job, and, yeah. and you know, I gave it all. Oh, shut up. Yeah, say it. Preach it.